，也不会说。Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to my presentation today. My name is Jun. I'm Korean. Uh, Korean living in Japan. <laughs> I received a national education at the ethnic school of Korea in Japan. All classes and conversations within the school are conducted in Korean. So I can read and write Korean character, but it's uh, it's not easy for me to speak Korean and listen Korean yet. Since I came here. I spend a lot of time to talk with Korean friends. Actually, both are quite similar. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I passed that. <laughs> Since I came here, I spend a lot of time to talk with Korean friends. We often talk about the differences between Korean and Japanese culture. Actually, both are quite similar, but they have some differences. And interestingly, most of the Korean guys asked me a common question in a breath. Why do Japanese girls always show a big reaction to express their surprise and delight? Like that. So, 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 so. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No, 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 like that. <laughs> I asked Japanese girls, she said, because we cannot uh, speak English well, we need to express our feelings using body language. <laughs> Another girl said, it's normal, it's not a big reaction. I was convinced by their explanation and it reminds me about the importance of body language in our communication. We are really fascinated with body language and we are particularly interested in other people's body language. In CNC, five, five languages are state, namely Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Filipinos, and Taiwanese. It means people own different cultural backgrounds and they have diverse body languages based on their regions. Do you know this meaning? Okay. Okay. okay, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And so, what about this one? Money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. <laughs> In Japan, this gesture implies money, yeah. like a coin. Yeah. Let's see other gestures. So, how do you count the number using your finger? Japan and Korea are the same like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> what about in China, Philippines, and Taiwan? Can somebody show me? I want some volunteers from Filipinos. Yes. How do you count the number? <laughs> One. One. Two. Two. Three, three, four, four five. five. Another, another. Another. <laughs> 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 or sometimes he uses the same hand. Ah, same hand. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, thank you. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> what about that one? Shut. One, two, three. One, two, two, three, three, three four, five, five, six. Six, 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 Eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
It shows our habitual behavior, which reflects our cultures. I think it's interesting to know how we express our feelings. Even though we are from different countries, we have some common practices, including hand gestures, habits, and behaviors. They are generally accepted without thinking their ways of practice. It passes along the communication limitation from one generation to the next. I'm glad to know that there are a sort of sympathy you and us. Thank you once again for taking the time to join today's presentation. Thank you.